Hello and welcome to our recording on using Notepad on Windows to run Python programs. So the first thing we've got to do is download Notepad++. This, these instructions will work both for Vista and for XP. I'll highlight where there are differences. The handouts uh, cover both Vista and XP. So I, you find the Notepad++ site by perhaps using Google and just typing Notepad++ or going to this URL. We have to go to the download page. We want to download binary files, and then it's not the best usability. We want to download the executable files, and now we get to SourceForge. And you might just want to go to this URL directly, SourceForge.net Projects Notepad Plus Files. And then on this page, when we go down, we're looking for a file that has exe at the end. That's the actual installer. So we're going to download this. It'll take a little while. And um, I want to save this to my desktop. So I'll press save. And I want it on my desktop. So now it's completed. Oops. I gotta, might as well get rid of these windows. Now it is completed and I'm going to go ahead and run the installer. You can see it's up there on my desktop. Of course I trust it and then I go through a couple of very simple installation boxes where I just say sort of yes to everything, don't change anything and away we go. And we have Notepad and uh, we've got it on our desktop and I'll just go ahead and uh, start it. So I'll close this file that's the that's the first um, that's just the release notes so I'm creating a new file I'm gonna write some Python and I'm going to then save this file by saying file save as gonna go to my desktop I'm gonna create a new folder using the new folder button I'm gonna call this assignment zero then I'm going to go into that folder and I'm going to name my Python program first prog.py. Oops, first prog.py. And so there we go. So there's my Python program. Now I want to run this Python program. And so I'm going to write the command line. This is where it's a little different between Vista and XP. In X in Vista you just type start and then there's a little screen where you type command C-O-M-M-A-N-D in XP you go start and then run and then type CMD in each of these you'll bring up a command line window that allows you to type commands directly to the operating system this also tells where our current directory is we are in the directory on the C drive in the folder documents and settings sub subfolder CSEV if you're on Vista, this will say users, a little more usable. So when you're in a folder in the command line, you can see what subfolders and files are in there. And this shows a series of directories, one of which is named desktop. This folder in command line called desktop is equivalent to your desktop. So we're going to change directory, cd, desktop, and then we're going to type dir. And we see a file, which is the notepad plus installer, and a directory called assignment zero. But we're going to keep diving in, go into assignment zero, and I'll do dir again. You'll notice it's always telling me where I'm at in the folder tree. And now I've got the file first probe.py, and that I see the same thing if I was to double click on this folder and see indeed I've got a file called first probe. Now to run this, assuming you've gotten Python installed and you put it in the default as a location as direct as directed. It'd be in slash python25 slash python first probe.py. And then that will run Python, run your Python program. What it's really doing is that first part says go find the Python interpreter and then read first probe.py. So this is running Python, and now I see I have a syntax error. On line one, it says syntax error, invalid syntax. Well, what's wrong with that? Well, it turns out what I was supposed to type was print hello world now you'll notice something that when I get my syntax right it changes color and that's because 
Notepad Plus is aware of the syntax of Python and is trying to help give us clues about things by coloring things differently, like keywords get colored blue and strings get colored gray. So now I have to make sure I resave this. So I save it. And then I can run my Python program again. Now here's a little trick. If all you want to do in command line is run the same program again, hit the up arrow key and then hit the enter key. And now this time I fixed my program properly and it runs successfully and says hello world. Okay? And so that's pretty much it. You just do this over and over. Use Notepad to edit the files and make increasingly clever and complex Python programs and then run them in the command line. Thank you.